Like send them forth to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. And Simon he surnamed Peter. And James the son of Zebedee and John the brother of James. And he surnamed them Boanerges, which is the sons of thunder. Hello and welcome to the Bible Minute. This is going to be about the book of demons or the demonology. If you're here for the game, I know nothing about the game other than what I have looked up. Uh, from what I understand, the game is, there's two, uh, there's the original, then the Book of Demons is the sequel to the Book of Souls, which is the first game, and then there's the Return, I think it's called. It's kind of like Magic the Gathering kind of card games um, in a book or on a thing. I'm not sure, I'm not into that. However, I do know there was also video games made about it, so if you're here for that, you can tune away or you can stay and listen for a, a quick little lesson on history about the book of demons so if you're interested in that stick around i'll give you some information anyway as i always start off let me read a quick little a passage or two out of the uh, book of colossians chapter 2 uh, i'm going to read 17 and 18 verses from chapter 2 real quick 17 which are shadows of things to come but the body is of christ let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. Okay, with that said, now, let's get into the book of demons, or uh, demonology as it's called. Um, actually, the book of demonology was actually written by King James the exact same King James the sixth who wrote the King James version of the Bible I know it blows you away but until you look into this and see what it's about if you just judge a book by its cover you'll be wrong so I'll, I'll cover that now there is something I need everybody to understand King James the sixth was also known as King James the first because he was crowned in Scotland and later on in England so he is known as King James the sixth and first so I'm just going to refer to him from now on as King James so that we can keep all that straight but there's the history on that now the history mostly today is July 4th 2023 and tomorrow supposedly uh, King Charles of England is going to be coronated in Scotland and he's going to sit on the Stone of Destiny. Um, this should give you a hint of how wrapped up the English monarchy is in superstition and traditions of men and stuff like that. I mean, he's going to travel all the way to Scotland just to be coronated on this stone and be recrowned the king again it's the the stone of destiny is a stone supposedly i'm just going to cover this real quick supposedly all the kings and queens were coronated on this stone so and it's a tradition so yeah there's argument to whether it was real and all that stuff but anyway enough of that back to the book of demons so now that you know they're all they have all these traditions in these um superstitions and beliefs and stuff like that we can move on to the book of demons from there okay it was originally written in 1597 by king james uh it, well it wasn't originally penned by him but he he uh commissioned the book he did write some of it he wrote the foreword of it and in the book and a few other things i'm gonna read some articles here um if you look it up you can get all these i got most of this printed out from Wikipedia um, because I looked up some of the books on Amazon and they give you little history things and I looked up a bunch of other places and this actually had all the information it rolled into one versus all over the place um, anyway it says King James the sixth of Scotland also later known as King James the first of England was a philosophical dissertation on the commentary of necromancy and historical relations between various methods of divination used in ancient black, ma black magic. It was reprinted again in 1603. So it was originally printed, published in 1597 
and it was reprinted in 1603. When James took the throne of England, widespread census that the king is, he wrote demonology in response to a skeptical publications uh, that were in a book called The Book of Witchcraft. Um, demonology included the study of demons and methods demons use to bother and trouble men. The book endorses the practice of witch hunting. So the cat's out of the bag now. Basically, he wrote the, had this book commissioned so that these people could have proof because, and I'll break it down here in just a little bit, when they hunted witches. So this is actually a book that they used to hunt witchcraft and sorcery and demons and stuff like that. But anyway, actually, if you go in a little deeper, it says that the book was believed to be one of the main sources used by William Shakespeare, yes, the very playwriter, um, that he used a lot of in the Macbeth. He also attributed many quotes and rituals found within the book directly to the weird sisters. They were the ones that were mentioned in um, an early article earlier, and I'll get to that, um, the weird sisters, um, which the king was involved. Now, the history goes, we go back to 1597. This is prior to when he commissioned the Bible in 1604 to be written and then it was published in 1611 so he wrote this book in 1597 demonology now what it, it, it is basically is he was involved in the what's called the north berwick witch trials in 1590 he was the sitting judge that punished all them and what he did was he was known, mostly known for um, Dr. Fian, a notable sorcerer. Uh, there was a, in 1591, during the trials, when he uh, executed this sorcerer, North Brick Witch Trials of Scotland, um, Newsies, I guess they called their little paper the Newsies. Um, Newsies, they had a confession in there and everything that was published, and he actually republished that in the Book of Demonology. Now, which is really, really interesting that he posted that. But anyway, so he was involved in all that. Now, we go over here to Dr. Fian, a notable sorcerer. It, it says that it was published again, but it says that he actually confessed and showed his contract that he had with the devil. So, yeah, he produced his own evidence, I guess. To, yeah. Anyway, back to the book. Um, the book is actually broken into three sections or called three books. Um, it's, it's written informally. It doesn't give the, a demon's name and then it, it doesn't define him like that. It's really kind of neat the way that he broke it down. He broke it down to be more of a reading type book. Um, so that it has more of a, a story kind of thing to it. Um, I guess... I, I haven't read it, so I don't know. I'm just going by the information about the different books or the different chapters in it. It says that book one is, is divided into various magical arts with the comparison between necromancy and witchcraft. It, the use of charms, circles, and um, conjuring. It says it goes into a division of astrology. It actually has a reprint of the devil's contract with man. Comparisons between the miracles of God and the devil. Uh, the purpose of these practices to advise people. Okay, so that's the way, that's book one. Um, book two, the main argument in this book is based on the following. They have the difference between uh, biblical proof and imagination and or myths. A description of sorcery and its comparison with witchcraft. The path of a sorcerer's apprenticeship. The curses of the roles of Satan, the appearance of devils, the times and forms of which they appear, the division of witches' actions, methods of transportation, and the illusions of Satan. And then book three, um, it talks about the demons that are used, I shouldn't say used, they're commissioned by witches or magicians or sorcerers to conduct acts of ill will against others. He quotes uh, previous authors who state that each devil has the ability to appear in diverse shapes and forms for varying 
and varying purposes. Ultimately, the works of demons, despite their attempts to do otherwise, will end in further glorification to God, is what he says in the book. Anyway, the book is not written like you think. Um, according, I've looked at a couple chapters out of it. It like It's broken down pretty much like I said. It has like uh, specters, and then it lists all the specters. And then it lists what they can do and all that stuff. And then it has pictures of things of charms and the pictures of the demons and stuff. It's interesting that it, they use the same authors, or I should say uh, artists, I'm sorry, not authors, but artists, to draw the same pictures that you see on some of the older versions of the King James Bible versus some of the demons and stuff like that. So it, it is kind of interesting. The main purpose of this book, believe it or not, if you if you haven't already figured it out, is... So the King James could get this information out to people and they would read it and they would be able to hunt witches down more easily and have proof. Because when you had, back then it was, oh I got the word of this guy and this guy has the word against that guy. But it, because it was published, proof is this is, a, this is a witchcraft spell. This is how witches work. This is what they do. This is what demons do. This is what, you know, it was all broken down. Sorcerers, what they do, the con... So now they had literal physical proof that they could use against people. So it was cataloged. Now, could this book be used for ill will? Yes, and it has been various times. There are multiple, multiple books, the book of demonology, that have come out. There's a guy that that's actually wrote a book called the book of demons that he updates and it's actually just a dictionary of the demons and sometimes in some of the but he's at like version 10 i think now where he just keeps adding to them so that he he basically took all this and put it in a more formatted version basically now there are spells in this book actual witchcraft spells actual sorcery actual demon conjuring stuff there are books about conjuring demons that have taken some of this stuff um there are books that have they there are people i'm sorry there are people that have used this information to cause ill will so this is this is not a good book it's actually a evil book i guess i would call it it, it supposedly it's very informative um, but that's not somewhere I'm going to step. It's not, it's not an ideal read for me. I don't suggest you do it, but if you feel that you must and you're led, go ahead. Um, I feel that some things are best left untouched. Um, scratching the surface and diving into it and finding out that this was actually a book written by the same guy that wrote, I shouldn't say written, commissioned by the same guy that r had the Bible commissioned was interesting. And you say, well, where is all this going and why do I need to know this? There are actually sections of religion. I think the Seventh-day Adventists are starting to do this now. And there are videos that you can watch where it actually says, these people are actually saying, do you know that the, the guy that commissioned the King James was also the guy that commissioned the book of demonology? And what they're trying to do is get you to think that the author was not godly because of his past and stuff like that so uh, i i look at it as he was just carried away in his superstitious beliefs and it, that's the way they've been doing it they're still doing it today with the uh, charles the third i think he's the third or is he the first anyway king charles he's gonna be uh, i just call him king charles and what's interesting is half the people that are in Scotland could care less. It was like 40% of the people when I looked it up last night and they said they could care. That they actually cared about the coronation of King Charles. So that means 60% aren't interested in it at all. So that should tell you it's steeped in tradition and stuff. And they are. If you really look at the way they do things, they're real old timey. The way they the traditions. And it's funny that most of the people that care are in America, which is weird to me. I, more people in America care about this stuff than the people that are over there, which is interesting. 
it's that that to me is is wild if you really look all this up but anyway don't let any man deceive you by any means oh there's another bible verse um let do do some research if you need to um and you'll find out some things that are really wild because when i first when it was brought up to me about the book of demons i was like what whoa whoa i gotta look at this up this ain't right because if this is right what what you know and then i realized yeah it's not see they lead you they're trying to trick you so now you know information is power so use that um read your bible read your bible read read one verse a day um my a, a guy at work where i work um he does something that I found that's really, really neat. He takes the month and the day, and he goes to Proverbs, and he picks out that one scripture. So if it's, you know, chapter 9, verse 23, or chapter, it would be 6, 4, or 7, 4 right now, because it's July 4th. So, yeah. that uh, That's interesting, yeah. And he does that. He reads it to me, so it's kind of neat. I like that. So, uh with that, I've rambled long enough. This is the Bible Minute, and I'm Mark, and I hope that's helped you.